Now, Inhaler are a young Irish band who looks set to have quite a year. The first album from Eli Hewson, Robert Keating, Josh Jenkinson and Ryan McMahon did great numbers last year and their second, Cuts and Bruises, arrived last Friday and that's all in advance of a European tour supporting the Arctic Monkeys. Lads, good afternoon. Hi, hello. hello. Now, uh, awful cliche, difficult second album. Was it difficult? No, it was very easy, wasn't it, it, lads? (laughs) It was definitely difficult. You summed it up well. Yeah, okay. Why was it difficult? Um, I think they say, isn't it? They say you got 21 years to do your first one and three weeks to do the second. So yeah. It's it's just that, really. Yeah. And we were on tour as well, so it was kind of juggling both sides of the mind, which is a little interesting. Yeah. Mm. And it's, but presumably when you're making a second album, you want to somehow build on the first one. You want to make it somehow different. Yeah, mm. right. Uh, so, like, was that a very... Did you know what it was before you started? Or was it a... <laughs> we never know what it was. <laughs> we, in ways, we kind of... We always say, oh, it'd be great if we did, but it would make the whole process a lot less interesting for us. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we didn't have, like, a set... Some of rules that we uh, went into the making of the album with. Yeah. But... Uh, came out with an album that was we think better than the first so okay. we're hoping yeah. that, that that's, that's the case right okay and but actually is it a thing that when you're finished a second album you think this is better than the first album but in a way you're kind of going there were the first album there were little bits wrong with it uh absolutely <laughs> um, we were even having that conversation today i think if you once you've spent a bit of time away from uh and you've got a bit of space from it i think it's easier to kind of accept it but i think when it's fresh in your head you you don't want to listen to it because you've got about 10 ideas. Yeah. Mm. You know, so, yeah, it's it's definitely true. But is it kind of therapeutic in a way because you can, you're you never going to get it perfectly? Oh, yeah. 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 Perfection's overrated. That's what our producer has told us yeah. before, yeah. So do you know or it, it is... Do you argue you about just, when you're, you know, we've done as much as we can? We had no it. choice. We took, it right <laughs> up, we took it right up to the line yeah. and yeah. then they told us, you got to stop because we don't have enough money. To <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. It uh, finishes mid-track on the, towards the end <laughs> yeah, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, um, One of the songs was 40 seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, and had you songs written before you went into the studio or is that, a, you know, is that part of the process? Uh, the way we worked on the last two albums is there was some songs... Um, that were written beforehand but most of it we kind of got in the room and just played together and wrote it in there mm. Um, mm. and does that start does that start with the rhythm section does that start with lyrics can that vary it, it, var- it varies yeah, yeah. we kind of wish we had a process that'd make it a lot easier yeah <laughs> yeah kind of each song starts in a different way which I think is the the blessing and the curse of our band because if one thing is we don't have a formula so say tomorrow something's like don't work out we can just have a few days where we just can't write anything but then also just things just kind of fall out of nowhere when we're playing together which mm. is always like a nice moment when did you first know what you sounded like we still don't know <laughs> <laughs> we're still yeah. trying to figure that out that's the question that everyone finds it hard to answer i think in, in the bands especially but i think i don't know i think once we i think we feel like when we don't sound too much like anyone else that's kind of yeah. where you're starting to yeah. sound like yourself yeah but, I mean, obviously you grew out of, and that's what drew, drew you together, bands that you liked. Mm. Um, and, but, you know, for, I listened to that, there's a bang of echo in the Bunnymen off that, and then I realised you did a cover of it. Yeah, that's more than, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But, 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 you know, that kind of, so that, you know, there's music that you like and bands that you like, but there's a kind of a step past that when you mm. go, oh, this is, this is not, this is, has elements of those other things, but this is us kind you, of thing. You travel through your influences and arrive at yourself, so to yeah. say. And I think we're still travelling. Yeah, um, I don't think we'll ever stop travelling. Yeah, to be honest. we won't stop. I, yeah. I, I think I think we weren't one of those bands that kind of had like a, you know, a, like a, a band meeting at the beginning and said <laughs> we're wearing these clothes and we're going to use these effects pedals and mm. talk about this. It, we kind of skipped that. We probably mm-hmm. should have. <laughs> yeah, but there are many bands do that. Would I, they be I that don't know. I don't think it's that contrived. But I no. think I think definitely there's, you know, I think figuring out your image is a, is a big important mm. part. Of yeah. Band. We're still figuring it out. Worked okay. for Ramones and the Beatles and all them. Sure, they looked great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they did. Yeah. But do you ever, like, does any of you ever, like, go on stage and look at the, one of the others and go, oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been guilty of that yeah. a few times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've worn some pretty outlandish we all, we things. We all have our moments. Yeah. We've yeah. all had moments, not too yeah. bad these days. We're all pretty nah. yeah. in tune with each other. We spend so much time together now where it's kind of like we know what the other person would think of what you'd wear, so you just... 
Don't wear that. You can't have three minds or four minds deciding what you wear. Hate that purple shirt. No more yellow boots. No more yellow boots. And like the the album's coming out on February seventeenth. So kind of, are you about to start touring? Yeah. 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 So yeah. So yeah, we start tour of the UK um, in two weeks. First gigs on the sixteenth, and the album's out on the seventeenth. So Mm. we'll uh, we'll see what what the set list is like for then. Yeah, Yeah. and after the UK. We're going to America for about five weeks, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. And then we're going on tour with the Arctic Monkeys in Europe in April. Yeah. And then a few festivals throughout the rest of the summer. Mm. So. Right. Okay. It's interesting, Josh doesn't know what a microphone is. Yeah. 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 I don't know, I think the novelty's still there, but it's also now we're at the stage where we have like a, we have a limit to like, we have to reach a certain limit to, for our fans, you know, like there's people now that are on board mm. from the first album. It's not like we're kind of winning people over now because with our own shows, there are people who've paid to see it and have, you know, songs already that they enjoy from the first album. So I think there's a pressure that's like healthy for us. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How much, how pressurizey is that? That's not a word, I know, but how... <laughs> It's. A, I don't think it's ever. It's. It's good. I think it's, it's a, just healthy. Yeah. It's a healthy. It keeps us straight and narrow as well. It's, we don't like. We always say we don't like. We're not a big band for going out and getting smashed or like. You know we've we've never cancelled a gig unless it's been COVID or, um, or like a venue, floors breaking yeah, yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. They're nice problems to have. It's yeah. A, yeah. enough pressure to get you out of bed. Get, yeah, I will we'll give it time. I mean, you will be getting smashed. <laughs> give it time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have our first. Only inevitably. Yeah, yeah. Now. Ely, I know. Are you all? Uh, are you at the stage now where you're sick of the Bono is my dad questions? Um, probably been sick of them for a long time. But okay, go on, fair go enough. On and I completely, I completely appreciate that. So, Ryan, what does your dad do? <laughs> um, well, that's the thing. It's like I'm just waiting for people to find out who my dad is, and they're going to get the shock of their life. Oh, go on, give nah, us an exclusive. I can't. I yeah, can't. no, I'm he... joking with you. Um, <laughs> also, my dad stopped working about 20 years ago to so that my mum could go to work. Uh, cool. And she was the head of an advertising company, so that's that's what they did. All right, yeah, that's that. That's it. That in itself is a very interesting story, Josh. I wish I could tell you, um, <laughs> but I haven't seen him in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, also mom, an interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, my mum works in electricity. Right, uh, uh, and Robert, um, couldn't tell you. He just sits around. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But my dad is, uh, he just has his own company that he started by himself. It's a cloud messaging company. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Right. It's very cool. He's very yeah. passionate about it. And uh, yeah, he, he actually had a little um, thing when he was younger. He like had like a ringtones thing. Back when it wasn't popular, he like sold this little company f- like that, like made ringtones, your, um, made songs, your ringtones mm. when he wasn't studying, and that got him some bob. So yeah, that's what actually he started from. That was probably he's, very he's not popular. Not even from Dublin. He's from Wicklow. So. Yeah, not even from Dublin. I know. Unable to Imagine do something that. like that. First, Imagine gen- that. first generation. <laughs> first generation. <laughs> dope. That's amazing. Yeah. Listen, the the, uh, the album Cuts and Bruises is out on February the seventeenth. Uh, Eli Hughes and Robert Keating, Josh Jenkinson and Ryan McMahon are inhaler. Thanks a million. Thank, Thank you so much. much.